Hi, in this short tutorial, I will show how to use GraphQL Playground to query blockchain. You can see that I'm using Tonlabs Testnet. Note that you can also open a similar playground at your local host to make queries to the local node if you use Tonlabs Node SE. For more details on Node SE, please refer to documentation. Now, I'll make a very simple query. Here it is in the left side of the playground window. It allows filtering transactions by type. In this case, I would like to display all ordinary transactions. The conventional mapping for ordinary transactions is zero. In the second part of the query, I have to specify what data I want to be displayed in the response. Let's keep it simple and limit the response to transaction type, ID, time, which is Linux time, and status. OK, let's hit the play button and get the response in the right panel. Here we are you can see the list of transactions corresponding to the query conditions. Let's try changing the query. Let's replace equal with not equal to get all transactions except for ordinary ones. You can see that the playground displays hints. Let's hit the play button again. Here is the list of all other transactions in the network. For example, tick and talk, storage, and other. For mapping descriptions for transaction types and statuses, check the documentation at docs.dev or check the link below this video. That's it for today. Thank you. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and join online communities. Bye-bye.